Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Today, we are back with a whole new day worth of levels here. As you can see, we're starting day eight, and with it, we'll have to earn two more taco tickets, so that's something we'll be hopping right into. Of course, last time around, we were able to escape Zomboss's trap and build the uh, fog machine thing. I guess it was the fog vacuum. So what we'll do with this, I guess, is maybe just save Neighborville. That'd be pretty cool. But as you can see, we also have the win streak event, which is pretty nice. That's still going on, so I want to make the most of that. Right now, it's not really doing too much. But let's go ahead and play our first level here, level 228 with the Sunshroom, Walnut, Pea Shooter, Lightning Raid, and Bonk Choy. It's been a little bit since I've last played. So I might be a little rusty, but I'm going to hop into it and just sort of see how things go. It is a hard mode level. We got a new loading screen that looks really cool. Let's see how it goes. I might have to do a couple of tries on this one as we're warming up the things, but we'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, might be a little bit slow going at first, but it's Begonia Boulevard during the night. Things get a little spooky around here just in terms of difficulty and stuff, that's for sure. But uh, I'll just throw whatever I can. There's also the incline and stuff to worry about. In my experience, just better to plop down a lightning read whenever possible, which it looks like Boom, right there, I'll do exactly that. So we'll start zapping these two as soon as we can. As soon as I can get another sun, whenever one of these want to uh, plop another one out, I'll get another sun shroom out just like this. There we go. I think that imp should get blasted. I guess worst case scenario here, we could always um just let Mo do their thing and mow them over. But for right now, I just wanna get that out there. Six sun shrooms is a pretty good start. I wanna keep it going now. Luckily, they're all sort of stacking up on the same spot. If I want to be a little bit more economic here, I could even do that as I keep putting down some other stuff because it is starting to get a little bit scarier. Um, I think I'll probably want one more lightning read uh, on that lane, but I just don't know if we'll be able to get to it. Here, Okay, now we're getting some more sun. Let's get a bonk choy here. I think that's actually the smartest thing I can do right now. There we go. Huge wave of zombies coming in. We're trying to fight them off however I can. <laughs> That's a lot of zombies, whole lot of them. Lightning read there. Okay, Bong Choi still doing his thing, it's pretty nice. They get through that walnut down that way, is not so good. I'm gonna put a walnut right here. And I think they might just end up dealing with that brown coat. It is what it is. Um, or the Mo might have to end up dealing with that brown coat. So, what else can I zap here? It looks like I need to put another one here. I think that's good for now. We'll have to deal with that pigeon zombie soon enough too, but I think for that we might need some like bunk choice and stuff. Um, I really don't want you to eat. Ah, oh, you ate it, darn. Okay, well that was just a total waste of everything then. We'll go ahead and put this here. Keep trying to zap everybody that I can, but as you can see, this is a hard mode level for a reason. They're eating through all of our stuff. Definitely not the best level to warm up on as I'm getting started for the day. Not so happy about that, but if I could just get enough sun, Maybe throw out a bong choy here. Just a second, I just need two more sun. Come on game, give me something. Give me something, give me something. Here we go, punch, no, okay, okay. I'm not gonna keep going there because that feels not fair, but the zombies ate your brains. I think that maybe because we're starting with basically nothing, maybe we'll just start with a couple of power-ups, but uh, yeah, good to know. If we go over here, okay, so one thing that might help out a little bit here is buying some extra power-ups, so I got all those stacked up in there. Um, maybe getting a Riker or two would just make a bit of a difference. So there we go, we got that all set up. I do have like, you know, some infinite brains now, so that'll be useful for a bit. Once we get started with, uh, I think that this should be good. I mean, we could get the candy machine too. Let's do it just in case, because it's a hard mode level. But once we get started and we earn up the win streak, it should all become a lot more doable. So we got that whole setup going on. All the power-ups are here. Let's get to it. So yeah, shouldn't it be so bad, right? I, here's hoping. Get another sun stream right about there. Should probably be building them more to the right, but for now this works and that's good. So yeah, I would love to hear, you know, have you played some of these brand new levels? Have you gotten started on day eight here in Plants vs. Zombies 3? Love to hear all about it. But for right now, our first zombie's gonna pop up and get hit by that rake, so I'm not too worried about it. Just gonna continue to build up some more sun shrooms and wait for the next zombie to pop up. That's when I'll worry about placing down this lightning read. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be over here. So we got less lucky with the placement of the zombies this time. But with that being said, we are doing better with other things because of the power up. So I think it's a worthwhile trade. I'll set, set up a second lightning read now. Really good. Because a lot of the zombies are showing up in the same spot now. So now we have our ninth uh, sunstream right there. 
feeling pretty good. We do have a brown coat showing up over here. I think for right now, I will just sort of wait and see exactly how I wanna do this because I probably don't want too many more uh, sun shrooms. Ooh, look at all the growth there. That's pretty good. I think we'll do a bonk choy here just to punch you out, get you out of here. And then probably a lightning root over here. I'm gonna need some extra support on this side as soon as possible. Yeah, especially with that cone head coming in. There's not too much I can do to stop that guy from getting to that candy machine. So maybe focus on some other zombies here if we can get a rid of that rock and roll imp. And then with a little bit more sun, I can get another lightning reed. So here's hoping soon enough, especially with the pigeon zombie coming in. The pigeon zombie loves to spawn in a spot where there's nothing I can do about it. I accidentally activated the candy machine. It is what it is. There we go. Oh, did, I guess that one zombie did eat the sun shroom. I didn't see that. Okay, unfortunate, but we keep going. And now I think we just focus on some walnuts here and there. Wherever I can get those would be good. So one right there. Got that. Probably some bang choy on the top and bottom lanes now. Might also be a good idea, accompanied by maybe just a lightning read behind them or something. Let's get that there. Right now I feel like I need more firepower and less defense. So I think a combo like that would be pretty potent. Of course, whenever I can, I'll put down a wanna, but it's not the priority, I guess. We'll do another lightning read on the top just for a little bit of extra firepower up there. And we're getting to the end of this pretty quick now. So I think we can even speed it up a little bit just to get these zombies out here. The Grapes of Wrath come out too to help us out. Very cool. And then I will grab all of these and get Another lightning reed here, another one up there, and a bong choy right over here. So this is feeling pretty set up quite well. Final wave is approaching. I just wanna get one more lightning reed out. Right, come on, one more. There you go, right there. And then I think we could probably just speed this up and see what ends up happening. Not too much you can do about the gargantua from his current position besides maybe slowing things down, replacing the sun shroom with more lightning reeds just to get more damage out there. That's sort of my best bet when it comes to dealing with you. Cause you're marching over. Oh boy. Yeah, that's really all I can do. <laughs> all the other spots have been sort of dealt with. I would say maybe even grabbing all this sun, getting another bunk choy here so that when you inevitably squish that one, I go ahead and just sort of stall you out for as long as I possibly can. Just like that, I get a wanna out here. When you're done with that one, I just go ahead and put another sun shroom there. And then yeah, that just bought us a bunch of time of zapping you and beating you up. The unfortunate thing is it might not be enough. I have no clue. It's not really looking like we're getting them here, but that's all the sun I got. So. It might just end up being that Mo is gonna have to finish the job, which is sort of a shame, but it is what it is. All right, there you go, see it. <laughs> we tried our best there. We are still able to get through the level. There's not really anything lost, I don't think, for um, having Mo do it, but there we go. I'll give that one a thumbs up, we'll keep going. And it looks like we've completed our first level today. We got still so much more left to go. We need to complete two more levels just to actually, or actually one more level to complete the, or start this new day. <laughs> so let's go ahead with that level 229 over here. We got the win streak bonus starting to stack up a little bit too. So I don't think I need to use any power ups here. We have the sun shroom. We have like, you know, tangle kelp. Things are looking pretty good here. All right, so ready, set, plant. Another nighttime level here, starting with the rake trap to get us a little bit ahead. Of course, we need to make the most out of the fact that it's nighttime. It'd be pretty scary. There is a current going through this water from bottom to top. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. It might even wash away one of the zombies. But it could also wash away our tangle kelp if we're not careful. So those are the things I'll try to stay on top of here. Cabbage pole is definitely a nice plant to have because no matter the incline or the decline, the cabbage pole should be able to land at shots. Okay, water surge coming in. See, so yeah, that one wouldn't have pushed away this imp anyways, so we might as well just let the rake do its thing. Whatever first zombie pops up, I'll definitely be able to deal with that with a tangle kelp too. So definitely getting ahead in some ways, always nice. Okay, 
Water surge coming in again before another zombie pops up. So I won't even worry about that one too much. I'll just get a tangle kelp for it and I'll try to get more set up for the next zombie, which is gonna be right behind it anyways. So I guess I will just cabbage pull right here. Oh, I guess it won't be. I mean, there's an in coming in too, which makes things a little complicated. Uh, I could walnut right there then. And then instead, We'll have to wait and see if this imp is gonna get water surged. I don't think he will, so you know what? There we go. There is a, uh, there's a tangle cup with your name on it. It looks like we need another cabbage pole right there. Stuff is stacking up pretty quick. Luckily, some of the zombies are just spawning in right next to where the uh, wanna already was, so that's nice. I think for right now, I know this seems silly because I probably just placed this, but I want to put a uh, cabbage pole, right there, not a cabbage pole, a bonk choy there. Because I feel like there's just not fun to deal with. There we go. Grapes of Wrath coming out at an interesting time. I will go ahead and maybe put this, I don't know where to put these actually. Seems like a weird spot now with the, the uh, bonk choy. Maybe could have done better with that. But uh, yeah, we got more zombies coming in. Let me get the cabbage pole here. Bonk choy there. Final wave approaching. So level so far, not so long. The Grapes of Wrath still here too, all stacked up. So there's definitely some possibilities to make some things happen. I'll have the one up there to protect all of that. One more cabbage pole on the bottom. If anybody reaches the water here, we could tangle kelp them. A lot to go on or to, to figure out here. Yeah, so it's just, a lot going on. Trying my best to make sure it all turns out okay. I think I will save the Tangle Kelp. I don't think I need it for that one brown coat. The Bonk Choi are busy at work here. I think we're good. Here we go. All right, that was awesome actually. Turned out pretty well. Obviously just a normal difficulty level and we have that rake power up to get us a little bit more ahead. Things work out in our favor. So we get another 49 coins there. We can keep moving forward. So, with that done, we have a very hard level waiting for us. Before we do, we can start a new day right over here. Here goes nothing. Activating the fog vacuums flying FUD doubling filtration system. And will that work? Whoa, look at this thing. So cool. So it's gonna just suck up all of the fog here. Mo doesn't have to take damage anymore to get rid of it, but it's a new area unlocked. The Mighty Oak Academy. Wow. Ha dang, it worked. Come on, gang, let's move out. I know a shortcut onto the school grounds. Forgive my niece, Patrice, but I must say, must stay behind. My primary function is to protect Creator Dave's lawn. My dear friend Twister has volunteered to help me repair my damaged systems, but we must return to the workshop area. Squeak, squeak. Affirmative. Besides, the school has their own lawnmowers, and frankly, they are a bunch of arrogant snobs. Oh no, no pro problem, oh little buddy. You're the best darn sentient lawn care appliance a guy could ask for, you know that? Be safe, you two. We'll be back as soon as we've reclaimed our beloved town. Come on, Uncle Dave, adventure awaits. Huh, all right, well, Mo and uh, Twister are leaving, which is sort of sad, but as long as we get some kind of lawnmower to help us, I was a little scared there for a second. It would mean no lawnmowers during the levels. What is that? Is somebody in there? It looks like a foot sticking out. <laughs> we'll have to go check that out, but for right now, our next thing is to cross the stream. Yeah, there's this big stream over here. We'll just walk past it. After completing three more levels, level 230 is a very hard one. Oh no. Since this one is very hard and things can go bad and mess up my win streak, I think we'll go ahead and get some extra sun. Or maybe I'll just do a candy machine just so that we have like technically the full win streak set up here. All right, ready, set, plant. I'm immediately gonna start with the sun shroom right there. We got the gumbop boost, the rake trap, the extra starting sun, all turning out pretty well. When it comes to how we wanna set up this actual level, I think we'll want snow peas here. And that'd be a good idea, just so that that way we can be on the top of it and we should be able to hit as many of the opponents as possible. For right now though, I just need as many sunshrooms out as I can muster. So let's get that going. Yeah, we're in a whole new area technically, but we haven't seen that in the actual level here. We're technically like still in Begonia Boulevard. Oh, okay. 
There goes that zombie, getting knocked out by the rake. And our next one's over there. So I just immediately gonna set up a snow pea for you. And we also have the squashes here who we haven't seen in too long. So might be able to use that sooner or later. But for right now, the snow pea is getting work done and that's fantastic. Okay, right there. Another imp coming in after that. We don't have any walnuts here, which is a little bit scary, but I think we can make it work. Got it, got it, right there. We could also get a bong choy out if we really need it, but I think the Snoopy should be able to get rid of both of these zombies. It might actually claim, one of them might actually claim a sunshroom. Okay, it didn't seem like that happened. Okay, we're good. So I'll do a Snoopy here, and then maybe a cabbage pole right behind it. I don't know yet. Okay, huge wave of zombies is approaching. So before I decide on such a thing, let's get another snow pea here. So we got the rock and rolling in coming in as well. I feel like I just want a snow pea on every lane. If I really, really need to, I can activate the candy machine. That is a lot of zombies. I don't want them getting rid of one of my sun shrooms here. That would really stink. So I think it's time I ride the opportunity to uh, get out of Bong Choy and have you just start swinging for the fences. Here we go. Maybe a squash here, because this is like a whole collection of zombies. I don't like it. So there we go. We got that going on. I got a decent amount of sun. They're spinning out uh, two sun each for these big sun shrooms, which is always good to see. The Bong Choy looking a little scary, so I will work on you a little bit and see if we can't get rid of you before you chomp away. Am I bong choy? Okay, wait a minute. I just, I wanna be careful there. I really don't want you knocking it out. There we go. Should be fine. Another bong choy right down here to deal with this rock and rolling it. Very, very good. So if I can do anything, it's gonna be more bong choys and then some cabbage bolts as well. Since these zombies aren't so close, I'll start with the cabbage bolt there. We'll do another one right down this way. And then a third right over here. Got it, okay, that's sacking up pretty well. We still have one more flag to deal with after this, and that's just something I'm trying to be careful of. But we got the Grapes of Wrath coming in, and they are definitely wrathful. They're exploding zombies all over the place. Okay, I guess somebody activated the candy machine. I didn't even see it. A little unfortunate, but we'll just put a cabbage pole in its place. We need one more cabbage pole to place down. So let's get that done right there. Okay, really good set, working out quite well for us. I'm gonna speed up through some of this just to see what we end up getting, because I'm sure, yeah, there's gonna be a gargantuar. So what we wanna do is make the most out of our time here and make sure that um, whenever the, what's it called, is available. Oh my, yeah, let's do a cabbage pull here. Whenever the squash is available, we use it to squish this gargantuar. I'll go ahead and get that there really just try to slow you down and punch away at you as much as possible. Just like that, I think you're done for. With two bong choys, yeah, swing it on you like that, you aren't long for this lawn. There we go. <laughs> we get a lot of coins, actually don't. I feel like they sort of nerfed how many coins you get. That's weird. So we got 66 coins here. Usually for a very hard level, we get upwards of 150, 160. So I'm not a big fan of that, but, uh, I guess we'll just continue. I was gonna wait to see if we can't get a big payout before we double out, but it looks like they've nerfed the amount of coins you get, which is definitely not something I'm super happy about. But uh, I don't know why it keeps resetting me here when, wait, aren't we over here? Yeah, <laughs> we're over here now. We still need to get two more levels done before we can uh, get to the next part of this day. So let's keep it moving. Right over this way, we have the bamboo shoots making a return. That's always good to see. So we should have the full win streak here. It's a normal difficulty level. We should be able to keep up with it just fine. So here we go. With this one, I need to uh, just immediately place it on a sunflower. It's nice to see that it's daytime again. That's a total relief. And it's a totally flat level. We're not at Begonia Boulevard. There's a lot of good stuff going on here. So what do we wanna do to start this level off is probably just pea shooters and stuff. I mean, obviously we have the umbrella leaf here if we need it, so. Hmm, tons of options for everything, but I think for right now, yep, grab everything we can from the sunflower. Wait to see exactly where the zombies pop up. But I can just put some pea shooters down soon enough. There goes that imp. And where's the first zombie gonna be? Definitely a different setup this time than we're sort of used to. But a pea shooter there seems like a good move. And then I can also just do bamboo shoot. 
if we're gonna be overwhelmed by zombies. Boom, get rid of the imp straight away because of that. That's always nice. We do have walnuts here if we wanna try to keep the candy machine protected, which was sort of my goal. Okay, hopefully, I think this will be enough to get rid of this imp before it can do any damage to our plants. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, it seems to be doing some good amount of damage there. Got it. Bamboo shoot, hard at work as well. Put this one here to be safe. <laughs> Huge wave of zombies is approaching. I definitely need to get a better spread. Worst case scenario, I just use the candy machine right now though. But I think I can just do this. Yeah, ready. <laughs> Okay, boom, boom, boom. One more sun is all I need to get. Hold on. You get out of here. See ya. <laughs> cool. That was worth it. Here comes another one. You also get bounced back. Exactly what we want to see. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit it. Whoops. That's okay. Get rid of those zombies. Does make things a little bit easier. Gives me some time to catch up. I'll get more bamboo shoots out. Probably wasn't the best place to place those right in the middle, but it's okay. We got our last pea shooter. Now I can fully focus on bamboo shoots wherever possible. So maybe just right over here. Got it. I'll put this here. And then I'll do a walnut maybe here. Seems like a good idea. I just need two more bamboo shoots, so 10 more sun. So here's one there. And then another one in the middle. And we're all wrapped up with that. So far, so good. We're about to hit the Grapes of Wrath as well. So I think we're at a spot where I can probably even speed this up. There we go. Once this next one gets placed, it'll, yeah, I want it right there. There we go. That seems pretty good. I think at this point, we just sort of coast along and we should be able to complete this level, no problem. 231, as long as it's not like a hard or very hard one, it's a breeze with these uh, win streak bonuses. We got like almost the same amount of coins for this as we did the very hard level. It's so weird. I don't know how to feel about that. But either way, we get this one uh, completed. That's not what I wanted, close out of this. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps starting me over here, but we need to complete one more level uh, before we're able to move on across the creek. So I wanna get that figured out now. Whoa, fog attack! Zomboss, get out of here! <laughs> what was that? Okay, so I can't place there? No, I can place there. I just can't see there. Whoa, and the zombie starting out right away. Okay, wait, I start, wait, there's already a plant there. Whoa, this is interesting. All right, um, good to know. So luckily we have a, a plant there. I don't have to worry about that part. That was not what I was expecting. Very, very cool, but man, gotta keep that in mind. So maybe it'll be a really easy level to introduce this whole Z-Fog attack. Interesting, so definitely have to keep this in mind that there'll be times where our vision is obscured. I guess I'll keep with the pea shooters. I'll probably put down some snow peas though. That might be a better idea overall. I'll have to wait and see. But I can also do two. Ooh, yeah, that, that rig's gonna get you anyway. So I can do two rows of sunflowers here to build up some extra sun. There's an imp coming down this way, which a pea shooter's already suited up to deal with you, so I'm not too worried about that. I'll place this here, get a little bit more sun. Snow pea there, awesome. Got it. So yeah, it's really just about looking around like this because if they're in the fog, but I, I'm placing a plant, you can see where they are still. So that's pretty cool. I don't need to squash right now though. I will put this here because I really don't want them to get rid of that candy machine if I can avoid it. We'll have to wait and see if that will really work out that way though. Another snow pea maybe there. Awesome. It's staying protected for now, but for how long? It's the last and it's the only wave here, so we'll just do that to get rid of a bunch of them. I'll speed things up. I think we've already won, <laughs> to be honest with you. I'll put that there, get rid of some more of them. That right there, awesome. Yeah, I think we already got the victory here. So an easy level to introduce the concept of the fog. That's awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that there. And as you can see, the lawn is clear. So. Really easy level, but a really fun one just because we got to see a new mechanic there. I'm sure that's not gonna be as exhilarating in the future, it'll be more uh, intimidating because that can only make things more difficult, right? But we have enough tickets to cross the stream. Watch Patrice, those logs look slippery. The stream's a lot deeper than it looks. Oh my. This path leads to a hole in the fence. From there, we can cross the school field and head into the heart of town. I shouldn't be telling you this, but my friend Nate Timely's secret tree house is also up ahead, but it's no grown-ups allowed. We used to play here after school. 
I sure miss Nate. I wonder what happened to him. Let's search the area. Maybe we'll find a clue to his whereabouts. Nate Timely. Interesting. So we're searching the area and maybe we'll run into Nate Timely. Maybe that's uh whoever's in here. <laughs> maybe it's not. I guess we'll have to find out as we keep playing some more levels. All right, let's see with our win streak still intact here. Let's play level 233. With this one, of course, we still have um, an easier level. The fog attack coming in. Zomboss always up to something. Ready, set, plant. So I guess we can do this just to take a quick peek. Yeah, there's no, no plants there. So it looks like, you know, that setup is pretty good. And it looks like we have cabbage pole, bamboo shoot, our only plant for actually damaging them. I think we'll probably start with the more expensive of the two. We'll do a bamboo shoot, but we'll have to see how it all sets up. Especially with our win streak, we have a lot of options here. It is an easier level, but it is also a longer level with three flags to get through. It could be a little bit more involved, so I think just getting a full setup as soon as I can would be pretty important. The first zombie obviously is gonna run into this rake, so I'm not too worried about that. Just gonna be a little imp, but what's gonna happen after? That's a big question. I'm happy to be gaining sun a little bit faster now that it's daytime. Okay, first zombies up there. Hit them with a bamboo shoot. Seems like a good idea, but an imp showing up down this way. Should get knocked out in one hit, right? I think so. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Such a satisfying sound to knock out an imp like that because they're not fun to deal with. Okay, got all of this. And then another sun flower right there. I don't know if I've been calling them sunshrooms by mistake. Hopefully not. And then I'll probably do a walnut along the fog here, even if I can't see what zombies are coming in. It'd just be good to uh, keep them back there. I'll do another bamboo shoot right down here in front of the candy machine because I really don't want them to get rid of that if I can avoid it, but you know what? It's looking unavoidable. I might as well activate it myself. Boom, get rid of some of those zombies. Trying to just get the bamboo shoots out where I can for now. Eventually, we're gonna want more cabbage pulp because not only do they attack faster, but if a pigeon zombie or something like that shows up, we'll wanna get rid of that too. Cause I feel like our current setup is pretty weak to pigeon zombies specifically. So I might just wanna get a lot of sunflowers out so that we can just like build up as much sun as possible, really get like some kind of really powerful setup. And then as things go on, I can always dig up the sunflowers and put more of the other stuff there. Still have a little bit more of this level to survive, don't we? I'll get this here. Sunflower there. More sun's coming in though. Sooner or later, there we go. Got it, got it, got it. Huge wave of zombies marching through. I do see that bucket head. Not fun to deal with, so getting a walnut in front of that seems like a good move. All right, so we're doing a pretty good job at dealing with all that. I think I will. Get this here, oh no, oh no. They're really trying though. Maybe I'll, I'll be digging this one up for now. Where do I want the walnut? As the Grapes of Wrath come in to deal with that one zombie. So I'll put the walnut here to deal with that too. I'll do this. There we go. Not too bad. The last wave is coming up here in just a second. So if I can get even more bamboo shoots out, might be a good idea. We need two more. Got it. And then one more here. There we go. Quite the firepower coming in. I'll pull one out a little bit off. A little bit, you know, not aligned with the other ones. That's okay. As long as we're dealing with these zombies, which we definitely are. This seems like a lot of them. So I want the bamboo shoot there to deal with that. We don't have squashes or anything. So this is sort of our best bet. And it's working pretty well. It can be sort of a scary mystery with the fog. You don't quite see what's going on, but we got it, we got it, we got it. Right there, and then a sunflower there. Just to slow you down, we get this level completed. That was definitely a tough one though, for it being like not a hard or very hard level. 78, this is like the most coins we've gotten so far, so I think I might take the chance to double this one. All right, round two of getting all these tickets. We need this one and one more, so let's just keep going. Happy to see all these normal difficulty levels, but it means the really hard ones coming up soon. This fog getting spread around. I'm not too worried about it. It's nice enough to start us with three sunflowers, so that's pretty cool. I don't think there's any plants in these little fog spots. 
but I'll double check that in a second. Yeah, not looking like it. So we're just gonna keep up with that. We got the little zigzag sunflower pattern. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this whole uh, Z Fog situation. I can only imagine that means that the plantern is coming up soon, right? Because I feel like, you know, that was sort of, you know, a big thing with previous PVZ games and fog is so that you'd get the planter to deal with the fog. So, I mean, maybe not though, because we have the ability to see the fog, what's in the fog already. It's just, we just have to place a plant in. It's just sort of weird. I don't know what to make of it. It's not bad for sure. It's, it's a cool concept. Of course, we get some varieties in the levels here. It is nice to be back at the campground. I feel like we didn't have too many levels at the campground for a bit. I'm hoping that this area that we're in right now ends up having maybe some extra stuff to it. You know, maybe it would be cool to see, uh, what is this area called? I think the Shady Oaks Academy or something like that. Whatever area we've just gone to in today's episode. But let's go ahead and get a bunk choy here because that's a lot of zombies. Maybe I'll even accompany that with a walnut. Okay, I think we have two rows of sunflowers. That should be good enough for now. If I can focus on getting bunk choys and stuff out for the time being, I think that'd be pretty good. So, right about, hmm. Maybe I'll just move it one space farther up. That shouldn't be too big of a deal, right? This one's looking like I could probably speed it up here in a moment. Just make sure I'm grabbing the sun, putting walnuts down wherever I can. We should just be good. I just wanna make sure that these lanes are protected because it can be easy to sort of accidentally disregard them because you can't really see it. Out of sight, out of mind kind of deal, but we do have a bunk choy in every lane now, so making some good progress with that. We just need walnuts wherever we can get them. This is the second to last wave. If I really need to, I can even slow down the action, get another cabbage pulled out there. I don't need to really double up on bunk choys, I don't think. Okay, does any of these lanes still need a walnut? This one does. So we'll get that there. I will work on more cabbage pullets wherever I can. Right there seems pretty good. The zombies really are stacking up on that one lane though. A little bit scary, but the Grapes of Wrath heard my plea and is uh, helping me out here. Awesome. Another one to replace the one we lost there in just a moment. It does take a second. The final wave is approaching and once they're all out here, that's when we activate the candy machine. So let's get that going. I think I still need to yeah, replace this one. And then just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, and it's candy time, here we go. Boom, not got rid of a bunch of them. Maybe I'll even start punching from this side just to really make the most out of that whole situation. And that's everything. Very fun level, we were able to zoom through that faster than I expected. Um, and as you can see, we get 67 coins. I'll give that one a thumbs up. That was a pretty fun one. All right, so yeah, really great progress being made. Um, we still need one more level to complete, so let's go for it. Right over here, we have level 235 with the Bunk Choy and the Snow Pea. Let's go for it. And here comes that Z Fog again. <laughs> this time it is nice enough to give us one Snow Pea to start. I will just do, boom, a Sunflower here, and we will just get started with this level as fast as we can. As you can see, there's no plants being shrouded by the fog. So I think for this whole setup, it's just very simple. We only get four plants here. I think I'll probably mostly just be getting snow peas set up and then bonk choice later. Didn't really mean to place that there. It was a little bit off, but it's okay. Also, even though it's said that we don't have Mo, like Mo left with Twister, uh, we the lawnmower still looks like Mo. So I guess all of the areas have just Mo in that way. It's, it's very weird. Because he, he said that, you know, the lawnmower is the school's lawnmower. I didn't realize that Mo was gonna, or that the, the school's lawnmower would also be like a robot like Mo. Very interesting. Okay, there goes that rake. Trying to make sure I get a snow pea on every lane for right now. Maybe eventually, of course, upgrading to a bonk choy if these guys get too close. Which, there's a lot of zombies stacking up here. I might be better off just doing that now. Yeah, currently, as it stands, there's no way to clear the fog. It would be cool if either, oh, you know, it could be blover. Maybe it's gonna be blover so we can blow away all of the fog. But that would be pretty cool. I could see that being a thing. Let's get more snow peas out here. I'm getting a little distracted by my own theory crafting here. Let's go ahead and get a snow pea there. Cause I don't think we've run into blover in this game yet, have we? 
I feel like what I was confused about is that if you go to the the game's like app store page, you can see uh, different screenshots that the game has to like promote it. Let's squash you, please. There you go, I wanna keep the candy machine for the, the final flag, if possible. But yeah, there's different screenshots to promote the game and like little promotional art. And there, I think you can see a blover there. And that's what's really confusing about it is there's also a picture of a chomper there, but there's no chomper in the game yet. <laughs> It's definitely odd. So I think there's gonna be new content added sooner or later. I'm definitely looking forward to it. The final wave is approaching. I think we need a bong choy on one more, maybe two more. Do I have one here? I do have one there. So yeah, just a bong choy there. And since this is the last one, I can speed it up a little bit. And once all those zombies get out here to play, that's when we throw some candy their way. There we go. I can also squash this group right there, and I think we got a victory here. The grapes show up, but we don't even need them. Save your wrath for another time, the lawn is clear. So there we go, we got that one, 57 coins. Overall pretty cool, our third taco ticket. And with that, we can go ahead and search the area. So right over here, what the heck is that? Stand back, Patrice, it looks like a zombie trap to me. And there's something inside. A gnar guzzle zombie, I'll wager. Whatever it is, it seems to be snoring? Let's cut it down and see what's inside. Don't worry, if it is a zombie, I'll sack one right in the kisser. All right, well, Patrice seems pretty determined. Let's do our last mission here, which of course is going to be cut down the net. Not enough tickets, okay. Uh, so I'm at the press here, there we go. So for this one, we do get the lightning read returning. Let's give it a go. So the fog attack coming in. Oh man, ready, set, plant. So a lot of uh, of opportunities here to, to be obscured by the fog. Not so good for us, but we can take a quick look around. There's no plants in there already. So it's just all about what I put down for the time being. I guess I didn't have to put the sunflowers here, especially with the lightning read. I should really be a little bit more conscious on where I'm putting these. Um, so I got a sunflower there. I will do over this way as well. The first tip, of course, going to be hit by the rake. That's pretty nice. I could definitely see myself getting a little bit lost in the fog here. So I'm trying to be on top of exactly where all the sunshroom, sunflowers, <laughs> there it goes, is, uh, are being placed. But a lightning read there to start things off seems like a pretty good idea to me. And I'll put another sunflower right there. Cause you just don't know. That's what's so scary about this. You just don't know and it might be too late by the time you find out. Okay, I will do a sunflower there. And we obviously have the candy machine still too. I'd rather save that for more dire situations. I'm going to do another lightning root right there. And then maybe another sunflower just along the bottom for now. If that's working, I'm definitely not intending to complain about it. I wanna get the snow peas out here soon too, but for right now I just feel like the firepower we're getting from the lightning reeds is definitely one of our best bets. I think I'll get this here. It just gets scary because you can't really see what's going on until potentially it's too late. But uh, I think we're fine for now. I could squash these guys if they get too close. Boom. We're coming up on our second flag here. I just want to do this. Maybe a sunflower in front of you. Just as like some kind of deterrent, something to slow them down if things turn out for the worst. I don't know. Let me do this. Get this here. Oh man, definitely stressful. Definitely super stressful, but we're making it work. I will get a snow pea down this way. And then if I can get one more sun, I can get some flower somewhere right there. This is the second flag. If I can save the candy machine for the very, very end, that'd be awesome. We'll have to see if that ends up working. Maybe I could get a yeah, snow pea out this way too. And get this here. All right, I mean, it seems to be working. Let's do a little bit of a check-in with how all the lanes are doing. So far, things are looking fairly clear given the circumstance. That's not what I wanted there, but you know what? We're keeping it, we're keeping it. I'm putting this here. All right. Oh, the grape's coming in. Somebody activated the candy machine. Okay, them stacking up like that, not so good. I should have put a squash there to like be a little bit more preemptive about it. 
definitely my fault, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna get a sunflower maybe over here. Maybe make a little bit of a wall of sunflowers to protect us. Might be a good idea. We'll be able to get a good watch on all the zombies. Most of them will be stacked up earlier than you know than they will later on when they'll get a little spread out because of the snow pea. So I think getting that figured out when we did. Is a good idea. I think for now, a lot of zombies around. I want to get this here, and we're sort of just waiting out for more squashes, which I think is pretty good. Yeah, I'm just sort of waiting and watching, seeing what might need help where, but I think for the most part, we're doing pretty good and we win. Awesome, very stressful level, but that's one level done out of the four we needed. 79 coins this time. Yeah, the tickets, or not the tickets, the coins seem to be different than they used to be. We'd get extra coins for being harder, very hard. Not anymore, I don't know why it keeps bringing me over there. But level 237 is finally another hard mode level. I think we can handle it, but let's find out. The fog attack coming in again. It just never ends with this stuff. This one's way easier in terms of the fog. So happy about that. We're starting as we have all the other ones with some sunflowers. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and boom, get that there. We have lightning reed and bong choy as our two plants um, that provide firepower. So once again, keep in mind where I'm actually placing the sunflowers this time and try to be a little bit more cautious of it. Maybe I could just get another one, boom, right there. The first zombie will run into that rake on the top. Just like that, there we go. So, just waiting to see where the first yet yeah, zombie pops up so I can make sure I get the lightning right in the appropriate place. I always like hesitate a little bit. I don't wanna put it on the bottom and then boom, the zombie shows up on the top and I'm in this whole situation where I gotta panic. But uh, there we go. And I think I'll place down my first walnut. We're gonna be playing the walnuts, I guess, in the fog. Sort of seems to be the best place for now. There's a lot of zombies marching down over that way. And that's a little scary. So if I could just get a little bit more sun, just for one more lightning read, it might be the move to make. Actually, I might. It seems a little silly, right? But I'm going to rely on the candy machine a little sooner than you'd expect just so I can get ahead with the sunflowers, especially since one got destroyed there. I wanna get that done, get more sunflowers out here. Not really where I meant to place that one, but that's okay. There's a lot of zombies out here. I want to, boom, do this. Get enough sun so that I can maybe take a quick peek at where the zombies are coming in. Yeah, definitely here. And then here, maybe get my first bong choy here. Might not be so bad of an idea. Especially, oh my with you coming in. They got rid of my precious walnut there, which is not good. We got a decent setup of sunflowers now. I can get this done if I get one up there, two more sun, come on. One sun there, another sun here. Bong Choi, punch away. We need you to get rid of this stuff fast. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Got it, got it. Good punches there for sure. Love to see those swings. I think for this one, I'm just gonna bonk choy there. That might've been a bad idea because that thing's gonna get gobbled up quick. Yeah, probably the worst idea I had. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, The Grapes of Wrath are coming in soon, but if I could just get that there to buy myself a little bit more time. Obviously the pigeons make things a little more difficult than I like them to be. There we go. Bonk choy's punching away now. Much, much better. Really hard to get ahead. Even with all of our benefits, all of our bonuses to Grapes of Wrath. Seems like they're willing to help. None of them attack the one zombie that's closest to us. So that's a little unfortunate. I think what I'll do is I will put the Sunflower here, Bong Choy there, Walnut here, Final Wave is approaching. I think we can handle it. Put another Lightning Root right there with the extra space that we got. Enough for another Sunflower here. All right. Something's happening, we're making it work. I'd like to grab all of this, if you don't mind, there we go. Maybe I can get a bong choy. I might have to, yeah, play it a little bit safe, get a walnut there, I wanna place it a little bit farther back. There we go. So far, so good. I think we got some good stuff going on, but if I could, 
halfway there with a lot of stuff. A lot of recharges. I need the one on the top lane because that's looking terrifying. But this is the final wave. So as long as I could maybe just even set this up like this and then a one on top of it, there you go. That's not so bad. Punching through all that stuff and boom. We're able to survive just barely. That was definitely a tough one. But as you can see, we do get 72 coins out of it. That's not so bad. And we're moving. So that means we have two more levels left to complete. Level 238 has some lily pads. You can only imagine. That means, yep, we got some water here, which all of them already have lily pads on there. Looks like the current's gonna spiral around counterclockwise. So that means, of course, oh no, <laughs> like this. It's spinning around. So we are going to just make this work as well as we can. For right now, I'm getting some sunflowers out. But eventually, we're going to want maybe that space for other plants. We'll see. So maybe I'll start doing this. Because hmm, how exactly do I want to get this set up? I think probably snow peas to start stuff off would be a good idea. That first imp is going to get hit by the rake. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, got in, not bad. And boom, snow pee there for that first zombie. Don't even wanna deal with you. And then another zombie popping up on the bottom. I do appreciate the candy machine being dead center of this little lake pond situation we got going on, it's pretty cool. Got it, another sunflower there. And the water surge again, the water surge happening a lot. So I just really need to keep tabs on like which zombies are coming in, when and where. That's a lot of zombies there. So you know, let's do bamboo shoot. It's a little bit more affordable, which helps me, you know, get a chance to build up some other stuff. So that's gonna clear out those zombies. Very, very cool. I wanna get sunflowers wherever and whenever I can get them. That means another one here, so be it. I do maybe wanna consider the Ganda machine at this rate. I can punch through some of these guys, right? Come on, don't eat that bong choy, don't. Are you serious? Man, do they eat fast in this game. Let's get this here. I think we might just use the candy machine, just like right now, because I just want a little bit more time to get ahead, if possible. I got the, uh, the lily pad right there I can replace. I can do more snow peas. I can do some flower there. The water surge is coming in. So hard to keep track of what zombies are where, but you can at least get this here. Unfortunately, it pushed through the one spot where I don't have any additional plants, but I got that there. Now we can work on bamboo shoots a little bit more, so I want that right here. Final wave approaching. All right, I think we can do it. I do another bamboo shoot right here while they're all slowed down. I get a lily pad there and a sunflower to join it. Very cool. I think I do a bamboo shoot there. So I just get a lot of zombies over that way. And boom, 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 boom. Got it, so much stuff going on, but we're keeping up pretty darn well, I think. And is there, oh, there's another spot here. I didn't realize that, okay. Good to know now, I suppose, but at this rate, the Grapes of Wrath finally kick in. I think we're just about finished up here. A bong choy to finish off this guy, and we win. So that's level three out of four, I think. We zoomed through that pretty fast. So 59 coins right there. That's our third ticket. We need one more. It's gonna be a hard, but I knew it was gonna be either hard or very hard. <laughs> Luckily, it's not a very hard level, but I know one's coming soon. The fog attack again. This one's pretty messy, but we got bong choy, we got umbrella leaf. Right now, full focus on sunflowers, but maybe sooner than, well, than later, we'll actually focus on bong choys here, just because I don't know what difficulty of zombies we'll get. We already have the walnut coming out here too, so lots of opportunities to get stuff done. So boom, got it. First zombie's gonna get hit by that rake. What's gonna happen to the second zombie? That's always the big question. Right now I'm just fully focused on earning up this sun. It looks like the second zombie popping up over here. You know, I can afford to just put a pea shooter for just one normal zombie like that. We'll put a wanna out there too, just in case I need it, but I think we're fine. Okay, so you, I don't want you activating. That candy machine, not just yet. So I think doing that seems like a pretty good idea. I'm really trying to keep tabs on which zombies are where before they enter the fog, because that's when it gets a whole lot more difficult to keep track of. 
All right. Um, I think I've already put a walnut right there. Yeah, so I think I'd want to put the umbrella in front like that, just so that I have something to block attacks like that, because they're not fun to deal with. Walnut there, last sunflower there. And I think we just keep focusing on bong choice if I can. I don't have one down this way, so let's get that fi figured out right now, right there. Um, and then, what's going on down this way? Okay, um, a little bit scary. I might wanna get a pew shooter down here just because it's a lot of stuff going on. I wanna make sure this bong choy is sort of protected as much as I can muster. And then maybe same thing here. So, we're holding out quite well, all things considered, I think. I will go and get a couple more of these out wherever I can. And uh, let's see, I got one more pea shooter up this way. I wanna, I think we have one there, we have one here. I don't have one there. So now all the bong choys are protected. We still have the candy machine, which obviously if I can save that for the final, final wave, I think that's the best possible idea for us. So I'm just stacking up pea shooters wherever else I can. Really make the most of that. I don't know. You can see the bowling zombies making everything difficult for everybody, but uh, I can only do so much, right? So get that maybe here. Yep, that's looking a little scary. Did they get rid of this bong choy? They got rid of this one, I guess. Uh, was there ever one there? I'm a little confused, but uh, go, there we go. Got it. Okay, we're looking decently set up here. Got this one last pea shooter there. Zombies are knocking stuff out, but we're knocking them right back out with the bonk choice. Okay, ready, candy machine coming in. That wasn't so bad. That's a lot of bowling zombies right over here, so I wanna try to get rid of some of them. Very nice, we have so much sun right now, it's crazy. But there we go, the level's all finished up. Not too bad of a hard mode level, to be honest with you. We had a good start and we were able to keep it going, so there we go, 62 more coins. And I keep hitting this thing, I don't want to. Let's scroll all the way over here because we're gonna be jumping to the fourth segment of day eight, where we can cut down the net. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay, so we're cutting it down. Whomp. What is that? Uh. Who is that? Is this, ah! Oh no, that must hurt. Is this Nate Timely? Sorry for punching you. Nate, you're alive. I'm so happy to see you. Uh, Patrice, what happened? Where am I? I was having the craziest dream about all you can eat pizza. How long was I asleep? Why does my face hurt so bad? Ah. Judging by the amount of drool on your shirt, you've been out cold for quite some time. I'd bring, better bring you up to speed. All right, so as you can see, we have another mission here, bringing Nate up to speed, which I guess is what we'll do in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3, Welcome to Zomburbia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.